Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to design and implement custom HTML abandoned cart emails in Klaviyo using the Emailify Figma plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to a new Figma file and open up the resources panel at the top. And if you click on the resources icon and search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on the save icon to bookmark it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already clicked on the save icon, so I'm just gonna go to my Figma canvas, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on Emailify. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to design HTML emails in Figma, which you can then automatically export to production ready code with one click from the plugin. So to get started, I'm just gonna give this email a name and I'm gonna call it Clavio Abandoned Cart Email Template. And then I'm just gonna click on the Add New Email If I Container button. So I'm not gonna be going super deep on the design features in the plugin today. If you're interested in designing and customizing uh, HTML emails in Figma using Emailify, there's a couple of other tutorials on the YouTube channel that I'd check out and also the documentation site is really good for that as well. But for today, I'm just gonna be creating a really basic email uh, with a little bit of content and most importantly, the uh, abandoned cart template that we're gonna be creating in a moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my Ecom tab in the plugin, and you can see under the first section here, under the Klaviyo section, uh, we've got a few different templates we can use. So these first ones are Klaviyo dynamic product feeds, so we're not gonna be using those today, but if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll notice that we get to these Klaviyo abandoned cart items templates. So you can see we've got a few in here. We've got one for Shopify, which is probably gonna be the most popular one, and then we've got one for WooCommerce, Magento V1, V2, big commerce, uh, so you can select which one is relevant to you. For today, I'm gonna to be using the Shopify one. So I'm just gonna click on the Klaviyo Abandoned Cart Items Shopify template, and that's just gonna add all of these layers to our email automatically. So you can see here that we've got a bunch of code that's been added. Uh, this is basically gonna check if your abandoned cart has items in it. So if it's got some items, it's gonna show uh, this heading here, and then it's gonna try and loop through all those items and display the product information here. Um, but if the cart is empty, you'll get this empty message here. So this is all customizable, you can change this. So if you wanna update the text, you can obviously change that um, to say, you know, did you leave something behind or something like that. Um, this is totally up to you. So you can basically customize this content as you would the rest of the email and that's all gonna look uh, just fine. So again, if you don't even want a empty message, you can just get rid of that entirely and that's totally fine. You can basically just remove that and that won't show up. So I'm just gonna leave that in there for now just to keep things simple. And you'll notice that there's a few different uh, bits of copy here. So we've got the product title, we've got the price that's gonna be displayed, the quantity, and also the image. So the image is being loaded through the settings panel in the plugin. So if you click on that image layer, and click on the settings panel, you'll notice that the information and link and alt text has been pre-populated with the dynamic tags for Klaviyo. So I'm just gonna leave all of that as is. Again, you can customize this if you wanna make the image a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. If you wanna customize this text, you can totally do that in Figma. But for today, I'm just gonna be keeping it really simple uh, along with this button down here. I'm not gonna customize that either but if you check out the button settings, that's also gonna take you to the checkout URL. So of course you can customize this as well. You can change the copy on there uh, and obviously change the styles as you like as well. So the last thing I'm gonna do before we connect this to our Klaviyo account is just go to the footer tab and just scroll down to the letter K and we're gonna find the Klaviyo footer. So just go ahead and click on the Klaviyo footer and again, that's going to pre-populate these links for us. So we've got our unsubscribe link. You can see here, that's pre-populated, manage preferences, view in browser, and the address as well. So again, you can change this design to whatever you like. Uh, if you wanna update that uh, style or content, you can definitely do that. But again, I'm just gonna keep it really simple for today. And you can also preview the HTML just by clicking on the preview button at the top here and you can see this is the mobile preview and the desktop preview. So you'll notice that the image isn't being loaded because again, this is loading in the dynamic 
image URL. So this is going to get swapped out in Klaviyo once we hook this up to our abandoned cart or other type of cart email. And again, same with this product data here. So I'm essentially going to leave all that as is. And what we're going to do now is export this HTML into Klaviyo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the export HTML button. And I'm going to change the default HTML email option and scroll down to the Klaviyo option. So just click on Klaviyo. And what you want to then do is click on this API key link. So if you click on that API key link, that's going to open up your Klaviyo account if you're logged in. And what you want to do is click on the create private API key button here. So just go ahead and click on that. And once your create private API key loads up, you can just give it a name. So I'm just going to call this emailify uh, Klaviyo key. You can name it whatever you like. And then we're going to click on the custom key radio option down here and just scroll all the way down to templates. And you want to change that one to have read write access. So all the other ones can have no access. All we want to do is change the read write access column for templates to be selected at that radio button. So once you've selected templates to be read and write access, go ahead and click on the create button. And that's going to automatically create your new Klaviyo private key. So you only get one chance to copy this. So I'd save this in a password manager or somewhere secure for future reference as well. So just go ahead and click on the little copy icon here. And then once it says it's copied to your clipboard, just go back into Figma. And we now want to paste that key into this input field here. So I'm just going to paste that in. And that now you can see that the upload button is available to us. I'm also going to leave the editable content toggle turned off. Uh, so there's a bunch of reasons for that. If you click on the content link here, you'll get a better understanding as to why you would want to turn that off uh, in this particular case. But basically, long story short, is the editor will add all this weird uh, extra padding and things like that. So it's just a bit of a headache to tidy up. So I would just leave that editable uh, toggle off for our abandoned cart email. And then you can basically give this a subject line and preheader text. I'm just going to leave this blank for now just for simplicity, but you can populate those as you like. So once you've all set all that up, just go ahead and click on the upload to Klaviyo button. And that's going to automatically generate the HTML, upload all the images, and automatically upload our template to our Klaviyo templates uh, page in our templates account. So if you click on that Klaviyo templates link, you will see all of the templates there, including the one that we just uploaded. So if I click on that link now, this is going to open up our Klaviyo templates list. And you can see at the very top here, we've got our Klaviyo abandoned cart email template. And if we open that up, click on preview, you can see that our HTML has just been automatically uploaded from Figma into Klaviyo. So that's the first step. We've got our abandoned cart email template in the Klaviyo templates now. So the next thing we need to do is set up the flow itself. So the abandoned cart flow can be set up under this flows panel on the left hand side in Klaviyo. So if you click on the flows menu item where my mouse is on the left right now, just click on flows. And once that loads up, you just want to go ahead and click on the create flow button in the top right hand side. And it's going to give you a bunch of presets. So there might be a bunch of uh, preset ones. You can see here there's a bunch of Shopify presets. You can search for different presets. If you want to use one of those, that's perfectly fine. But to keep this really, really simple to hopefully uh, make it clear how it works, I'm just going to start from scratch and click on the build your own button in the top right here. And I'm just going to call this one emailify abandoned cart flow. And I'm just going to leave that as the name. And again, I'm going to click on the create manually one. I'm not going to create it with AI. I'm just going to click create manually and go to the builder. So once the new flow loads up, you'll see something that looks like this. And you've got a bunch of different options. So for this tutorial, it can also be used for other types of uh, triggers. So if you wanted to do a different one where it's like added to cart or something like that, you can use a different trigger. But for today, we're just going to be focusing on abandoned carts. So with that being said, I'm going to click on the checkout started one. So you can see under most popular here, we've got the checkout started trigger. So I'm going to click on that. And this is basically going to fire whenever somebody starts a checkout process in Shopify with some other uh, metrics also included. So we can start stringing these together in a moment. So I'm going to use that as the trigger. So I'm going to create the trigger of checkout started. And then I'm just going to go down the bottom here and I'm going to click on the save button. So I'm just going to click save, then confirm and save. 
and that's going to lock in that trigger as the trigger of when someone starts a checkout that's kind of the beginning of our trigger so what we want to do now is add a time delay item so if you go on the left hand side here go under timing and drag and drop the time delay uh, item underneath there so we're just going to drag and drop that onto the canvas and then we want to click on that and add a time delay so normally what you want to do is either add like a day so you could do one day or something like a few hours so you could set a four hour delay so i'll put that in there and click on save and once that finishes saving you can see that it's telling us the changes have been saved so we've now set up the trigger we've set out a timer delay for four hours and the final step we're gonna add in this particular flow is then to trigger an email. So we're gonna drag and drop this email item in the top left into the bottom of our existing flow down here. So underneath the delay, and that's gonna add the email step to our flow. So basically someone's gonna start a checkout. Uh, if they leave the checkout or don't check out, after four hours, it's going to send them this email. So we're now gonna click on the email flow item and what we're gonna do is give this a name. So you can call this uh, abandoned cart email number one. If you're gonna have multiple triggers or multiple delays, you could name these uh, with numbers at the end. That's, that's pretty common. And then you can give it a subject line. So you might say something like, uh, did you leave something behind? That might be your subject line. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, and then basically you wanna go down here where it says template and click on select template and once that template page loads up we then want to go to the saved templates tab so go ahead and click on saved templates and underneath this list you'll see our brand new one that we created called clavio abandoned cart email template at the very top so we're just going to click on that one and you can see we've got a preview of the template so this is the same template we just uploaded a moment ago so i'm going to click on use template and this is going to load up a new page with the code on it so once this template view loads up, you can see all of our HTML code that was exported from the Emailify plugin is in here. So what we can do is now preview this with real data by going to the preview email button in the right hand side here and clicking on that. And then you'll notice at the top here, we can select a, a recent event to preview with. And what that means is we can select a recent uh, event from the real e-commerce site. So in this case, this is me uh, doing a checkout a few hours ago. So I've got this checkout event where I started checking out and then I closed the window and didn't finish my checkout. So I've got a couple of items in my cart and we can use this real data to populate the dynamic content that we created in our template. So what you can do is just click on whichever event you wanna preview it with, then go down here and say, how would you like to preview the email? Just click on show directly in Klaviyo. You can also send it as a test email to yourself if you prefer to do that. But for today, I'm just gonna click on show directly in Klaviyo, click on preview now, and that's gonna automatically pre-populate that content. So you can see here, this is real HTML content, and it's being populated with the real data from that real checkout event. And this is really cool because it means we can actually test out if these links are working, we can see that the product names and pricing and the quantity in the card is correct. We've got our return to cart button. So if we click on that, that'll actually return us to the real cart for this real event. And yeah, it's just a really nice way of seeing uh, what the email is gonna look like when that abandoned cart trigger really gets fired and what a real customer is going to see. So yeah, this is, this is really nice. This is exactly what you want to uh, see and make sure that the data is coming through exactly how you'd expect. So again, this is working with a Shopify store. So if you're using a different platform like WooCommerce, you would use the WooCommerce template in Figma uh, that we saw in our templates over here. So where you've got the Ecom tab and down here, you've got the Shopify version, which we've used. But if you're using a different platform like WooCommerce and you're using that with Klaviyo, the variable names here are gonna be a bit different. So you just wanna make sure you've got the correct one and uh, yeah, you can obviously modify these if you wanna change it. If you don't have dollars, maybe you wanna change this to a pound symbol or something like that. But yeah, you can basically change that as needed. But that's looking really good. So this is basically the pre-populated uh, real data content being injected into our layers here, which again, were just preview uh, placeholders at the time. And these fields are now being swapped out with real uh, content based on the real Klaviyo links and 
data from our checkout event. So yeah, that's basically what that looks like there. So I'm just gonna close off that preview now that we know it's looking good. And we're gonna click on the save button. So it's important to click on the save button again when you're done and just go ahead and click on that X. And then we're gonna click on the done button in the top hand, right hand corner. That's gonna take us back to our flow. So you can see we've got the flow here. And essentially what you wanna do is make sure that all the conditions are uh, exactly what you want. So if you go back to the trigger up here, you can see that we don't have any filters applied at the moment. So what you can do is you can add filters to this trigger to say, hey, we only want this to fire when uh, a certain category or a certain collection or a certain uh, discount code or a certain anything is used. So you can basically dive really deep into the conditions of when this will fire, uh, or you can just leave it as a very generic thing. Uh, so when anyone checks out, you know, it'll trigger, but you probably wanna enhance the trigger filters to make it only fire at certain points. So that's kind of outside of the scope of this tutorial. You should go through and uh, go through these filters yourself. I don't know what filters you wanna be applying uh, for, for your audience or your products, but again, we just covered how to add a checkout event, how to add the delay, how to add the email template, and that's the most important part that you need to know. And then yeah, once you're ready to go, all you need to do to make it live is just click on the review and turn on button in the top right here. And you wanna change this flow status from draft to live. So just click on live. And then once you're happy with that, just go ahead and click on save. And that's gonna make the flow status live. So I'm just gonna leave that as draft for now. I don't wanna make this live. So I'm just gonna set it back to draft. But yeah, that's basically it. So I hope that's helpful. If you've been wondering how to create abandoned cart emails that are custom and design those in Figma to then export into Klaviyo and use in any kind of uh, cart flow or abandoned cart trigger uh, in Klaviyo. Again, you can experiment with the kinds of flows that you wanna design. This is the most basic one you could possibly come up with. But again, I just wanted to simplify it uh, just to show you exactly how it works and then how to set that custom HTML template using the template that we just uploaded from Emailify in Figma. So we'll leave it there for today. This has been a really highly requested uh, video. So hopefully that's helpful if you've been wondering how to create custom HTML templates uh, for Klaviyo abandoned carts or other kinds of dynamic cart triggers in your Klaviyo emails. Uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit of a head start and if you do need more advanced help, I'd highly recommend either getting in touch with your Klaviyo support rep, or if you've got a dedicated developer on your team, hopefully you can reach out to them if you wanna tweak any of this content here to make it a bit more personalized. Uh, but this should at least give you the base or as a starter component for you to work from and customize and get a kind of uh, minimum version working for your abandoned cart flow custom templates in Klaviyo. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.